For St. Patrick's Day, I thought I would show the Celtic Knot, one of the more famous ones. Um, if you end up liking this video, at any time you can subscribe. Um, I would start with a triangle in the center. Yes, I'm using pencil because uh, I just like to and I, I would suggest if you're not used to doing this, you might want to start out with pencil as well. So each of these lines in this triangle, you notice I did curved lines uh, on the triangle sides, just come out like a pinwheel. And just keep in mind that it, it's always going to the right, in this case it's always going to the right, right, right. You may want it to go to the left. And they all should be equal lengths. The slight curve at the top. Try to have them all with the same amount of curvature to it. Okay, then we'll start with this one and just go about, this one's a small one, so just go a little bit next to it on the line of which it starts, the triangle point, and follow it up, and this would be the, the point. And now that I look at it, this one seems longer than the others. Yeah, that I'm gonna make this a bit longer. This is why I have pencil. So I stink at gauging. So I have three approximately the same length. Each one's about a, the same length. Now think of this as uh, the three points that come together. This will be a point, this will be a point, and this will be a point. But remember there is a circle that goes around this uh, knot. So what I do, and this is one of the reasons why I do it in pencil, is I gently put in a circle because if I were to put in a circle on my own, see that's not coming out very big. I am awful again. I would rather come out with a compass and switch this. Think of this as the center. I am just going to put dots everywhere. I could probably go like this. How do they uh, line it up with my pencil and look to see if I get it about right? Or actually, I could probably go like this. A little tough. Okay, so that's about a circle um, that will go around. And the circle is about two lengths. So actually I'm going to put in the circle here since it's coming out pretty nicely and will help me with so there's one curve but I did not put the curve up to I wanted to follow these See this is a wide arc here compared to the other two. And I always have one that is a wider arc. Okay. So I put it in the circle. And now you want to bring down the points. So starting at the base, we have two lines here. Think of it going over to the other side and it's continuing but you don't want to draw on here and go up. Same on this side. And this line, again, cross over. It's going to meet with this point and this one will meet with this point. And do that for the rest. This has a big, these don't, I want to open these up. Now this is why it's nice to do it in pencil. I can bring this up and open it up. 
Yeah, I like that much better. And this is uh, the reason why I said be careful about getting the lengths correct. But, again, this is why I do everything in pencil. First. Alright, now I'm going to... Oop, got a lot of pencil mark there, but that's okay. I'll erase and then I'll clean it up. So, I will um, use pencil mar um, marker now to fill it in and I will speed up the film. There you go. The garlic knot. Uh, the garlic knot. I love garlic, but the Celtic knot. <laughs> um, enjoy. On a happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Help support this channel. Thank you.